It should be going off any time now. Uh, like, seriously, though. There we go. It's going off. There we go. And, and here is our nuke right there. Hey, what's up everybody? I am Undying Blaze, and welcome to Arma 3. Now, I was looking on YouTube, and I found this awesome mod. I'm gonna turn down my volume real quick. So, I found this awesome mod. I'm a huge fan of nuclear bombs. They're super awesome. They're, like, devastating, and there's something to be feared. Uh, and so, while in real life, that's, like, worst-case scenario sort of stuff. Whoops. But in a video game, they're just, they're like the holy grail of awesome. So, Arma 3, as far as I know, has zero nukes in it whatsoever. Um, so I downloaded a mod, and the link is into the description for the mod. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, because I've been looking everywhere on YouTube, and there's no answer to how to detonate the frickin' thing. Everyone's, like, setting up um, different explosions at, like... I don't even know, maybe they're dropping the nuke truck, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. We're gonna, gonna go into the editor, and we're gonna go to, um, Stratus, because it's a smaller island, and I know it way better than I know Altus, so, um, so we're gonna get into the editor. Uh, the new 3D Eden editor is so pretty, because you can just, you can actually really see what the heck you're working with. So anyway, um, I'm making a level for Ninjanuity and I... Um, it's gonna be really, really big, probably takes a couple hours at most to do, but I've practiced with this nuke truck for quite a while. So, uh, it's made by Panda Syndicate, and you just go in here, and when you're placing the vehicle, you don't want it to be on your side, so you'll hold Alt to make it a prop vehicle. And so, let's zoom in here, um, so this is the nuke truck itself. Uh, you can drive it, but it gives off pretty lethal radiation so after a little bit you'll just end up dying after you lose health i believe this was like an emp thing that they just strapped to a truck and they're like bam it's a nuke now so you can actually kind of see the nuke in here at least what's supposed to be so anyway um this truck has no detonation feature there are ways to detonate it that involve weird programming stuff but i'm not quite all for the whole taking forever to program stuff. Now there's a couple ways that you can uh, detonate this thing, the simplest of which is dropping it. So you do is you'd hold alt and then uh, whoops, drag it up into the sky uh, and the highest I think you can do that is like 40,000 meters and that'll give you about 20 ish seconds before it hits the ground and I believe you have to place it upside down because I think if it lands on its wheels it'll just break and it won't uh, go off. I think you have to drop it upside down I'm not sure, I just, I've been placing it upside down, and it's worked, but that gives you 20 seconds. If you place it any higher, it despawns, and if you place it any lower, you get way less time, and if you place it too low, there's no explosion, unless you go, you right-click, and you go to attributes, and you set its health or armor to, uh, 1%, then anything will set it off, which is a danger. Suppose you're in a firefight, and your mission is to detonate this nuke, you're pretty much screwed. Um, uh, if, if anybody shoots this thing, it's probably going to blow up. I mean, it'll take quite a few bullets before it goes, it goes, but, uh, still it's pretty weak. If you set it at zero, you get detonation at the beginning of the level, which is great, but it's, uh, it, it might not be what you want. I mean, you want to, you want to detonate this thing when you want at your, uh, at your timing, I guess. So, there's a couple different ways. One way to do it is to line up explosives. Uh, uh, okay, real quick. The reason that you want to detonate this um, is to c cause this massive destruction, but chances are you don't want to kill yourself in the progress. In the, in the process. So, uh, the, the whole point is that there's no real way, aside from having it dropped from the sky, and that starts off right away, there's no real way that I knew of, at first, to detonate this thing. So let's get into here, um, and let's just, let's line up this nuke a little bit better with the runway. There we go. Just for fun. And so this nuke is just sitting here. Let's say your mission is to set off this nuke, but then you want to you wanna get the heck away, right? 
You want to get way far away and then the nuke to go off. With explosives, let's just uh, open up the dudes. You'll want usually to um, spawn in as an explosive specialist. I'm not going to because he's carrying like crap tons of stuff. Um, let's see, who's carrying like nothing? A survivor. Okay, so that's going to be me. I'm going to be the survivor. Actually, I'm going to spawn a little bit farther away. I don't want to be dying of radiation when I spawn in. And then what you can do is you can go into attributes of the vehicle. And you can go into equipment storage. And what you do is you just select the explosives that you want uh, in there. Actually, I am going to be an explosive specialist. I changed my mind. I'm sorry. Um, it's just it, it'll save me time. But if you want the nuke to be uh, self-sustaining, like say you really needed to use your C4 way back when you don't have it now or your slam mines or whatever uh, and you don't have it so you you really can't set it off but if you just right click or right click go into attributes go down here to the equipment storage and just click that and then you'd say you want some uh ieds uh urban you just add like three of them and then you click okay and then when you go and you click inventory on the vehicle it'll show up and you can pop those in your backpack or whatever it's uh, a lot more reliable that way so you can feel free to use your weapons and know that you can set it off but um it's it's not really explained in a lot of videos but the timer on explosives is kind of interesting so what we're gonna do is we're going to place ieds under this thing because a single explosive i've found isn't usually enough. So urban IEDs are way better to use than, um, I'm going to copy and paste these. Urban IEDs are way better to use. Oh, this is a small one. Dang it. Large. You want to use large urban IEDs. I thought it looked a little weird. And then you copy and paste like some of them just around and maybe a little far away so that you can actually place one without having to get too close to it. And just you know, three or four will do it. I think that one or two will do it, but just to be sure, place a bunch. And then, um, and you can have these stored in the vehicle, so you don't need to um, carry them with you the whole time, because I think you can only carry two IEDs at any time. And that's the entire setup. I'm going to give myself a vehicle. This vehicle is from a mod, so you can't just get it in the game normally. Uh, so... I will warn you guys, because it's a freaking amazing vehicle, uh, and therefore it's one of my favorites. It's the Osprey. Uh, texture's not working, but it's okay, because this texture's working just fine. And we'll line it up with the runway facing that way to get us away. That's the whole point of that vehicle. So here's the nuke. Here's me. Here's the vehicle. This is all you need. Uh, if you're going to run away, that takes forever. If you want to drive away... Um, if you have the nuke here, driving away on an ATV takes about two and a half minutes. Um, but we can get anywhere faster with the Osprey. So, all right, so here's our Osprey. I'm actually going to warm up the engines real quick just to make things a little bit faster. Um, so I'm just going to warm up the engines. I'm going to open up the ramp. And then I'm going to hit eject, which doesn't shut off the engines at least it hasn't in the past so as the explosive specialist if you scroll you see all these different types of explosives I prefer to use the slam mines and the reason for that is because the timer is in 30 second increments so I'm gonna set timer on for 30 seconds and now you can keep adding 30 seconds which I didn't know nobody explains this you can scroll add 30 seconds scroll add 30 seconds so I've got 140 seconds I can make that easy um, now, before, I had no idea that you could just um, place an explosive and then set a timer for as long as I did. Whoop, I'm going to do forward instead of straight up. Whoop, ramp close, come on. There we go. Landing gear up. And now you'll see that the nuke is ready. <laughs> And we just have to get outside of its uh, blast radius. That's really all we have to do now. So as long as we can do it within a reasonable amount of time, we'll be just fine. And the best way to see it is, see this, uh, this radio tower right there? That is just a tiny bit inside the range. So we're just going to um, slow down here. 
Let's really slow down now. Okay. Now, we're, we should be pretty safe at this point, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to go a little bit farther. Now, one thing that's really cool is that it has a pretty dang realistic effect when it goes off. Let's see if I can uh, see it as it goes off without dying. Because that's kind of the whole point. So now I'm outside of the effective range. This vehicle, I think, can get outside of the effective range within the 40 seconds that C4 gives you. But uh, the ability to add time on... It was something that I didn't know until really recently. And I feel kind of dumb now. But honestly, like, I don't think that it... Yeah, I went through the explosives training. And they never said that you can add time after you've... At least to my to my memory, you can't add time to the timer in the, sorry, in the tutorial. However, I found out that you can, and so everything was all good. It should be going off any time now. Uh, like, seriously though. There we go. It's going off. There we go. And, and here is our nuke right there. Oh, man. And, um, it, when it goes off, it kind of hides everything. You can see the trees falling down. Look at that. From the shockwave. Oh, man. That's so cool. Alright. I know that they're falling the wrong direction. But I think they're just set to all fall a specific way. Um, like north, south, east, west sort of direction. I think they all fall... Yeah, facing... I don't know. Facing like 80... Or 90, that is, sorry. Alright, so here's the nuke. It's the nuclear cloud. We don't want to get too close or else it'll destroy our vehicle, which I think we're already too close already. But this is the nuke. We're completely safe, or at least we were. And uh, the fallout is kind of bad, and all these buildings are destroyed. But we're safe, and no one ever told me how to uh, set off this nuke. I was kind of frustrated looking at YouTube after I downloaded this mod. And, uh... So I thought I'd share it with you guys because, honestly, um, if it frustrated me, it probably has frustrated some of you guys, so I thought I would uh, help you all out. That, that was the idea behind it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's not really much else to say um, other than you got to try it, download it. Um, I didn't make this mod. Uh, Panda Syndicate, I think it's called, made it, and it's an amazing mod. And same with the Osprey, they didn't make that either, uh, but neither did I. So, I can't, I can't claim that I made any of this, I just figured out how to use it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's basically everything. So, thank you guys for watching this video, I really hope you guys learned something. If you did, please do leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>